got to repeat that one. I'm sorry. I said, are you relieved that this is over and you know you're going to be here for a few more years and now you can focus on football? Definitely. I mean, it definitely gives me that, that clear mind. I can go out there and you know, not have to worry about you know, getting injured, none of that stuff. I can go out there, play free, and um, just play my ball. I'm on you to be able to take care of your family. I mean, I guess how much pride do you take in that? I mean, that's been a long, like, long dream for me. I mean, growing up, the dream was for me to get to the NFL, and it was also my dream to stay in the NFL and be able to provide for my family. And you know, being able to do that is just a blessing from God. Me too. I guess somebody because you still have a year left at the team, you're kind of proactive here, getting you a deal, you know, before one's out. Say it again. I'm sorry. What's it mean to you? I guess you still had a year left, that mm. the team kind of took the initiative to get to make sure this deal got done with you before it ran out. It, it means a lot. I mean, it just shows how much you know, the Titans believe in me and trust me, and I have that same trust and you know confidence in them. And you know, I'm just going to do my job to make sure I can help this team win and help them win a Super Bowl. Is this kind of the deadline today, Imani? Did you want it done before the season? Yeah, the likely. Day? You know, I wanted to have a you know clear mind and clear purpose of what you know my my destination was going to be, whether it was to be signed or not. And I'm just glad we got something done though. How would you to, you know, be able to be around KB and, and be his teammate for the next couple mm -hmm. of years? And now that you're going to be that way, mm -hmm. what can you guys do to be the best safety tandem in the league? I mean, it's definitely a blessing. I mean, like I keep saying, like when I was here, you know, watching watching KB and how he is around the building, like I wanted to mimic that because I seen the success he had off the field and on the field as well. So, and it's definitely important because you know we've been together for four, and we're about to be together for another four right now. So we're going to be able to, you know, be be on the same page and be able to make plays, and we can be the best as we can be. Such an effective tandem. How do you guys complement one um, another? We both know what's going on. We both we study the game um, very similar. We both find ways to help other guys out. And then when the plays do come our way or when we find an opportunity to go make a play, you know, we, we try to do that. What, what's the reaction, I guess, been from teammates? You had got people come up and ask you for loans today. What, what's, is people kidding you a little bit, or how's that going? That's yeah, been going good. I mean, the guys, been, they've been happy for me. Um, they all cheering for me. they all asking, you know, let me, get, let me hold some money. Let me hold a couple of dollars. But, you know, at the end of the day, they're, they're, I, they, I, I wouldn't be here without them. I mean, without them being in the, in the spot to help me make plays and vice versa for me, I mean, without them, I wouldn't be here. Who's maybe the first person you called when it became, other than maybe dealing with your agent, when it became official? Oh, uh, my parents. My parents, you know, they're with me. They've... They're with me when I was in little league. They knew my dream when I was in kindergarten. So, for them to you know see where I am today, I know they're very proud of me, and I wouldn't be here with here without them. Outside of Kevin, you know, you now have a bunch of DBs with Roger and Caleb as well mm -hmm. on their rookie deals. So a, lot, a lot of you guys locked up here for mm -hmm. a couple of years. What does that do for your confidence, kind of just that, as a group, at knowing that this secondary is going to have opportunity to keep building on on some momentum and be together? For yeah. A while? It means a lot. I mean, guys are going to be here, so we're going to be able to build that chemistry. I mean, you got Roger, who's um, a new guy who hasn't played a game yet. I mean, preseason game, but Caleb, I mean, he's still a rookie to me. So, I mean, to be out there with those guys, and we're going to be able to build that cohesiveness, and then I think we're all going to be able to improve. I think it's been able, uh, enabled you to progress so steadily in the first three seasons. Um, just never being complacent, you know, being always and finding a way to improve, um, never feeling like I, what I did was enough. And then just you know, trying to be the best player I can to you know, help the team win, you know, whatever that may be. If they need me somewhere else that I'm not used to being, and I got to go play that position, I'm going to do it to the, the best of the ability that there's no, there's no drop off. How does it feel to be entering a second contract at 24 years old? Most guys are 25, 26 when they do that. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a blessing. I mean, it was God's plan for me. Um, you know, I happened to be a little younger and I left a little earlier. So it is a position that I saw myself being in if I you know, played my cards right and did, did what I had to do. And um, this is where I, I saw myself being. Amani, were you always a, like a safety growing up? And if so, who were kind of guys you looked up to and maybe try to model or take parts of their game from? Yeah, I mean, I was a safety, but I played every position, but I was mainly, I knew I was going to be a safety. And then uh, Ed Reed, um, Bob Sanders, and those are probably my two, my two main guys that I, I looked up to while I was playing. I mean, there's Rodney Harrison, a whole bunch of other guys that I, I watched highlights of when I was younger. But Ed Reed and Bob Sanders were definitely the, the top two. What did you do for odd jobs growing up when you're just trying to scrape and make a little money here and there? I mean, I'd, I cut some grass. Um, I might walk some dogs. I did a, constru a construction job in college over the summer that uh, that wasn't the right path for me. So that was that was a quick two days. Um, but that was about it. How much is team ready to play? Come in and get the season going. We're ready to go. I mean, guys are flying around. Uh, we're prepared. Uh, we're excited. We watched the game yesterday. We've seen how guys making plays out there, the Bills and Rams game. So I know we're ready to go out there and, and do the same thing. How we doing, Jimmy? Doing good. How you, how you doing, Mike? Great. 
I guess uh, how much you feel like this team is ready to go after all? Well, I mean, I think you hope, you know, that we're ready. You know, these guys are ready. They're over there working, backing stuff up. Um, it's just, you know, it's week one. And, you know, it's our first Friday, you know, trying to work through things and, and make sure that we're, we're giving them everything that we can give them to be prepared. Nobody knows. Nobody really knows for sure. And you think you have an idea, but, you know, but there'll be plenty of things that we see or come up in the game that, you know, we just weren't able to show them. Mike, what has Amani done since he arrived to, to earn this second contract with you guys? I mean, he's a dependable player, you know, and somebody that's taken advantage of his opportunities, gone in there, been productive and, you know, versatile. Um, you know, like, like the way that he practices and prepares and his daily approach. How much did it last year when he came back from the injury, how much did that help to gel the back end of that defense? Because it sure seemed like that things got a lot smoother back there when with him and Kevin working together. Well, I mean, our folk, you know, I mean, I'm happy for, for Imani. I really am. Um, it's an amazing opportunity to be able to do that. And I'm glad that we're going to be able to keep them. Uh, my, my focus right now is, is on the Giants. So I, I've congratulated him as many times as I can congratulate him. And he knows that. Um, and we made a commitment to him. And you know, his focus and our focus is on the Giants. Remember by Coach Dayball as a young coach in New England when you were there as a player? Yeah, I'm just very knowledgeable. You know, a guy that, you know, could coach a lot of different positions from early on. You know, um, you know, my best story, my favorite story of Dayball was him and Rob Ryan and Josh McDaniels would be the quarterback. And it was cold. It was late in the season. And they would always do red zone one-on-ones on Friday. So we'd be stretching on one side of the, the field and they would be off on the red zone. And Josh would be the quarterback and Rob and – and Dayball would take turns running routes against each other. And watching these two in parkas at about 30 degrees and Josh playing quarterback, it just, it would make us laugh every Friday. So I don't think that we'll see that on Sunday, but I mean, it was, I can remember to this day. With some of the, so many rookies, you know, set to be a, a starter for you. Do you find yourself having to tell them to kind of contain themselves and not get too excited and, and shoot their gun pregame so that way they're, they're well, ready. I mean, I think I hope we're all excited. I'm, I'm excited, and, I, and I'm sure that they are. Um, but there's a level of composure that I think you have to have, and, and we'll have to save some for, you know, the, the course. We don't want to leave it all at the driving range and make sure that there's a little left for, for the course. So um, we've talked to them a little bit about it. McCreary has the, the pregame, well, the night before the game ritual where he eats – Baked beans with He's sugar. eating baked beans every day, I think, as long as Lauren puts them there. If, if Lauren puts them in the cafeteria, he eats them. 